Hey guys, I'm Jessica and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, before I start it, I need to go do something. These are definitely a necessity for this video. What I'm doing today is the DCP tag, the Disney College Program tag, because I am going to be, I am going to be participating, going on, doing the, what am I doing? The Disney College Program, Fall 2018. I leave in, I believe it's 59 days, 59 days. I leave Canada, I go to California for three weeks, and then I go to Orlando, and I'm there for five and a half months, and I am so excited. I will talk a little more about my program and how it's different than the average DCP. Mine's kind of, I think it's the ICP, the International College Program, because um, I am Canadian. It's kind of different than what most people are doing, because mine's through University of California, and it's kind of just like slightly different than most people and a lot of people don't know about it so i'm gonna do a full video about that which i've actually already posted I'm posting that before this maybe possibly i don't know you'll see on the screen it'll be linked down below or it'll be linked down below in about a week we'll see also i want to try and move my camera i don't i don't like my little setup right now i'll be right back is this any better probably not but that's okay we're all good so i have my laptop right here Every time I move, my dress is shaking and then my camera is shaking because it's on my little mini tripod on top of a candle, on top of another candle, on top of my dresser. Anyways, I have my laptop here and I have all the questions on here. I actually have, oh my god, my camera's gonna fall and we're all gonna die. I have someone else's video up right now. They have the questions linked in the description, which is what I need to remember to do. Um, but yeah, so there's two different sets of questions. I believe she did two different tags, but I'm going to do them both because there's only 10 questions in each one. So yeah, let go. Oh, I think the first set of questions is for people who have already done it before for the alumni, but I'm going to answer them to the best of my ability. I'm not an alumni. I've never done this before, but I have been to Disney before. So most of these I can answer, I think. We're gonna have to find out. So first question is what year did you DCP? And I'm doing it in 2018. I'm doing it fall 2018. So yes. Were you in Florida or California? And I'm just gonna say, am I? And I am going to Florida, but I'm actually going to California for three weeks prior. Like I said, other video link down below explaining the whole situation because mine is different than most people's. But yes, Florida is my DCP. What role and what location? I don't have my location yet. And I think there's some sort of thing about like how you can't say your actual location or something and some sort of rules. I don't know yet. I don't have my location, but I do have my roles. I am doing a rotation. I'm doing three months in um, merchandise and three months in attractions. I'm not sure which one's first or which one's second. I'm just kind of going with the flow. Those are my two top picks. I really, really wanted attractions and I really wanted merchandise because I have worked in retail for almost three years now so I have had a lot of experience working at Hill and working customer service and that kind of stuff so merchandise I felt like would be thing I was like strongest at and I wanted to work on a ride or some sort of attraction I really want to get a ride but like if I get a show or something like that not the end of the world but I do really want to work on a ride just because when you think of Disney you think of attractions and I feel like that would be a really really good thing so yes I'm very excited with my roles. Number four is what do you miss about the DCP? I can't answer this because I haven't done it so I'm going to changes back to what am I going to miss at home and what I'm going to miss at home I think the most is my pets I have a pet cat and a pet dog wow English I have a dog and a cat named Rory and Belle and they are my best friends I'm also going to miss my actual friends um yeah and my family and I'm also going to miss my cheer team I will I'm not going to miss all of them I'm going to miss some of them and I'm going to actually miss going to practice twice a week and going to competitions and that kind of stuff I'm only missing the showcase and one competition so I still can go back and hopefully I can be on the team come January when I get back from the DCP but I guess we're gonna have to just wait and find out next question is how many times have you visited the park well did you visit the park during the DCP but I'm gonna change it to visited the park overall and at least 10 um, to Disney World and at least 10 for Disneyland I think there's like I think it's 15 for Disneyland and 12 for Disney World I do live close to Disneyland and it was a lot cheaper to go there so when I was younger I went there a lot more um, but like I live in Vancouver, Canada, if you were curious, but yeah, I've been a lot of times. I'm only 19, so the average I've been twice per year, pretty much, so yeah. Number six is, what is your favorite ride? And definitely Big Thunder Mountain. It's been my favorite ride for such a long time. I do really, really, really like Space Mountain, and I also really like the Mine Train. I like that ride a lot. It's it's good, but Big Thunder is going to be my top ride. It's always been my top ride. I used to be terrified of it. I went on it, found this little lucky 
coin, which is actually the like face of a pin, but it fell off. And my dad's like, here, it's a lucky coin. Take it with you and you'll actually be good on the ride. You won't be scared. And I went on it and absolutely loved it. And I still love it to this day. And yeah, it's always our first ride and our last ride when we go to the parks. As long as it's not broken down or closed for refurbishments, which has happened a few times and it upsets me, but we try and make it our first and last ride whenever we go to the park. Next question is, where is your favorite place to eat? Um, a churro stand? <laughs> is that a good answer? Yeah. <laughs> the next question is, what is your favorite memory during the DCP? And I'm going to change this one again because I'm not an alumni to what is my favorite memory at Disney? And that is definitely a tough one. Um, I've been to Disney so many times. Um, I've had some good memories and some bad memories. Um, definitely bad ones being lost in the park. My family of, we have 17 people. We had a group of 17 people. We had a big, huge family holiday and they left me behind, which I will talk about in another video, another day. <sighs> they left me behind. I was like eight years old, seven years old or something. And they just left me. And I was stuck there by myself for like 20 minutes and it was terrifying and I cried. And then my parents came back and they're like, there you are. I'm like, what do you mean there I am? I haven't moved. You left me like, come on. But yeah, so that's not a good memory. I also got in an argument with what was one of my best friends, no longer one of my best friends, no longer even really my friend. Um, I got in an argument with her and screamed at her and then stormed away and then this was at the school trip so half the people came with me, half the people went with her. Like it was just a bad situation and all about going shopping like and questioning if I knew about Disney. I'm like does it look like I don't know about Disney? I think I know about Disney. Just a little bit more than you. Just a little bit. It's okay. It's all good. It's okay. It's okay. You're good. It's fine. Um, this is bad memories. I need to find a good one. Good memories are just being there. I remember standing there the last time I was in Disneyland. I remember standing there next to two girls who I've kind of known for a really, really long time. I thought I heard someone come into my house, but my brother's at school, my mom is at work, and my dad's at work. So. I don't know. I just shut my door and I locked it and we're good. Anyways, getting back into this. Um, good memory. I remember standing next to these two girls who I've known since literally grade one. We were in the park and we were just about to leave. It was our last day. The next day we were flying home and I looked over to them and we were watching the fireworks and they just started like sobbing. They were crying to each other and like hugging each other and they're best friends and they were just crying and it just, I don't know, it made me really, really happy just seeing that. It was our first time, both their first times ever being to Disney. Um, they also cried when we first entered the park and they saw the castle and they started crying and stuff walking down Main Street towards the castle and just like For me, I don't feel like I still feel that magic, but for me, it's not the same like I've been there so many times and although every single time I go it's still so magical. It's like It's just it's different now For them, it was our first time they've wanted to go for years. They've looked forward to this for the last six months seven months or something and it's like it's finally happening and it's here and they were just so like overwhelmed with joy and stuff and it just made me so happy just to see them kind of experience that next question is who's your favorite character and i really really like figment i know a lot of people don't know who figment is and it drives me insane because figment is amazing um but i really like figment and i really really like marie from the aristocats she's definitely like my favorite person favorite person she's definitely my favorite character from one of like the old disney movies um, when we're talking about the newer Disney movies, it's kind of a toss-up. I really, really like Olaf. Frozen isn't my favorite movie, but I absolutely love Olaf. He's just so cute. And question 10 is, would you work for Disney again? And obviously I can't answer this question because I haven't worked for them before, but yeah, I'm just going to move on to the next set of questions, which is, the first question is, how did you hear about the program? I actually heard about it in grade 9 from... Someone who my mom works with came back and she said that she went on this program and it was to work with Disney and it was through this university slash college that was like in our area. Um, and I'm like, okay, I should look into that. So I looked into it, looked at videos on YouTube, did stuff back in, I don't even know what year it was, grade nine. So that was, it was five years ago, I looked it up. Um, and then in grade 10, someone came from that college to my school and I talked to them about it and kind of learned more about it then. And I've been dead set on it ever since. I remember coming home the day of our like jobs fair, university, college fair, whatever it is at our school, and I went home and I looked up the college's website and I searched Disney College Program on it and I read all the information about it, looked at the dates, looked at the application form, did everything. And ever since then, I've been like dead set on doing this. And I was actually planning on doing it last year. Um, one of my friends did it and I was planning on going with her and we were gonna room together and it was gonna just be an amazing experience. But I decided to wait till this year. 
I got distracted. I just feel like I wasn't personally ready to travel alone across to a different country for six months by myself. Question number two is how was your interview process? And mine is different um, than most people's. Like I said, I had an in-person interview. Someone flew in from University of California and someone flew in from Disney. Um, actually, two people from Disney. And you interviewed with one of the Disney people and one of the University of California people. Actually, there's only one. So University of California person and Disney person. And you had two separate interviews. Each lasted about five minutes, six, seven minutes or something like that. Um, and how it worked is we showed up to this college, this university, I don't remember which one it was, but it was somewhere in Vancouver. We showed up there, everyone from, I think there was five different colleges or universities from around this area in British Columbia um, that all went there. People came from Vancouver Island, people came from all over and went to um, this one university or college, don't remember what it was, can't remember, <laughs> but we went there and we had like a 45 minute to an hour long info session kind of thing telling us about how it works and the fees and how the dates are and like all the different information about it. Um, and then we went into um, hour long time slots and I had one that was like three hours later. So I actually left, got food my, with my mom um, at like a local mall and then we went back and then I had an interview and it was very, very just like relaxed. Along with the University of California, um, she was very, very just like so tell me this and tell me this and she's like oh so would you do this and so I told her about like sports and stuff and how that's how I like managed my time and I like did two competitive sports did full or part-time at work and then did a full-time student I was a full-time student so it's like I did a lot of things all at once and so she's asking me about sports and, like if I'd want to do it while I'm there and like just like a very casual conversation and we talked about my mom and how she was a travel agent just like it was very, very relaxed, and I do appreciate that because I have not had a lot of interview experience, so I was kind of worried about it, but it was perfectly fine. And then my Disney one, it was a lot of just, like, informing me about different things because at this point, she'd already reviewed, well, not she, but someone had already reviewed my online application that I sent to University of California that had cover letter, had resume, had my application form, had a different letter of, um, like why I wanted to do it, had a bunch of different stuff, had some essay that I had to do. So it had a lot of information that she already knew about me. I know that when people apply for the DCP, typically they have an online application form that is very just like cut and paste, not very personal questions. And then you schedule your phone interview after you've get accepted for that. So for me, it was like, they've already known a lot about me before I did my actual interview. It wasn't over the phone, it was in person. So I didn't have like any, um, what are they called? Scenario questions. I didn't have anything like that. It was a lot of just like, so these roles, are you okay with these roles? Yes. Do you know about this? Let me tell you about this. Like, do you know the dress or Disney look? And I'm like, yes. So she's like, do you have any questions? I said, earrings. Like I just try to come up with any questions. So I said, earrings, I have two piercings. I have like my lower lobe and just a bit higher, just two here. And then I asked if I could keep them both in or just had to take one of them out. And she said, no, you can keep one of them in, but you have to take the other one out. Like but it's all good, and she said she liked my earrings because they're little Mickey Mouses. Yeah, so, yeah, and it just, it was very, very relaxed, and I didn't really, I don't know, I wasn't really stressed about it, which is very, very nice because I thought I would be super stressed out and super, like, panicky and stuff. I went over a ton of videos about um, phone interviews because I thought mine would be kind of similar to that, but, like, definitely condensed because we didn't have as long of a time. Um, we had, I think, 15 minutes per interview or something was our scheduled time, maximum half an hour, but, like, nothing more than that. Um, but, yeah, it was super chill, super relaxed. A lot of, do you have any questions? Does this make sense? Do you get it? Do you know about this? Let me tell you about this. It was a lot of just, like, informing me and less about, like, interviewing me. It was just kind of, like, making sure I wasn't a serial killer kind of thing. That was a long question I had to answer. Um, next question is, uh, where were you when you found out you were accepted? I was sitting in my bed. I checked my email in the morning and I was refreshing it and I look and I'm like, oh, so I like freaked out a little bit. I'm like, okay, like this is exciting. Now I got to go to school. So I screenshotted it, sent it to my mom, went to school. When I came home, my mom actually got, wow, I can't speak. My mom actually got me a balloon, a Minnie Mouse balloon, which is over there. She got me cupcakes. We had chips and hot dogs and fries and just like junk food for dinner. Just kind of celebrate. My question four is what role is yours preferred roles? I already went over this. My role, told you my preferred roles, skipping on to the next question, merchandise and attractions are my roles. Anyways, moving on. How did you find your roommates and how many do you want? I haven't found any roommates yet. I don't know anything about how that works. Um, I need to look into that, but I don't really know. I'm just kind of going with the flow and seeing how it works out. Um, there's two people from my college that are going. One is a guy, so I can't go with him. And one is a girl who I have no idea who she is. So I don't really want to room with her because I don't know who she is. 
all I know is she's an international student, um, and that's it. So I want to find, I don't know, I want to find some people to room with. But I do want to have, I think, five roommates. Um, I feel like four, like a room of four is not enough, and I feel like a room of eight might be too much. So I think a room of six, or not a room, an apartment of six would be good. I really don't want bunk beds. I want two, two, and two. But worst case it happens, it happens. It's not the end of the world, but I do want to have a bit more space to herself. I don't want to have everyone crammed in to two rooms, have six people in two rooms. That's just kind of a bit too much, I think. But it is doable, and at the end of the day, it's only for a short time. It's only for like six months, so I'd be able to do it, but that's my ideal preference. Um, question six is, what are you going to miss while, the, while in the program? Um, I already answered this. Animals, friends, cheer. Well, I don't know what else. <laughs> Next question is, what is your favorite Disney park? And I'm going to say Disneyland. It's definitely Disneyland over California Adventure. I do really like California Adventure, but they're changing it so much. Now it's not like Paradise Pier, it's Pixar Pier. And now it's not just like you walk in, it's like the Beach Boys music. It's different. And I, I don't know, I miss that. I really like the, the old California theme um, with the big like Ferris wheel that had the sun on it. And the big sun at the middle when you first walk in. And like, I miss that. And now it's Mickey's Fun Wheel. And now the oranges are gone. It's like... Um, Silly Symphony Swings and uh, Mulholland and Madness is gone and now it's Goofy Sky School and like it, they're just changing everything to be more Disney themed which I get it, it makes sense, it is a Disney park and they do want it to be more Disney themed it makes sense but at the end of the day I still do miss the classic Holly, like California feel to it and I'm always going to miss it but I miss the California letters too, like the big California across front, I miss it but yeah, anyways, moving on. That I don't want to ramble about that. But then Disney World, my favorite park would definitely be Magic Kingdom. I feel like it's just the most magical. I don't know. I like Animal Kingdom, um, but not, like, it's whatever. Like, I like animals and stuff, but I don't like to spend too much time there. Um, I feel like it just gets whatever. I like Epcot because it's, like, the world and stuff, and they have some good rides there and stuff. But, once again, whatever. I feel like just Magic Kingdom's, like, the best. I don't know, and MGM... Hollywood Studios, they keep changing it. I keep, I'm always going to call it MGM. Hollywood Studios, I don't know. I like that, but once again, Magic Kingdom, Disney themed. Moving on. First thing you want to do when you get there is to go to Target or Walmart. <laughs> I am traveling from Canada, and I'm traveling three weeks prior to arriving to Florida. So I'm going to have my carry-on suitcase filled with all of my shoes and all my heavy stuff, my if I want to bring a lamp, I'm not going to bring a lamp, like that That would be dumb. But if I want to bring like picture frames or anything like that that I want to bring that's heavier, all my shoes are throwing into my carry-on suitcase. I'm bringing two other suitcases, one that's like a medium size, one that's a full size. Um, I'm hoping to put everything from like that I'm going to need in California in the smaller one and then not open the bigger one. Have I'm going to get a pillow from Ikea that's like shrink wrapped. I'm going to shrink wrap some of my clothes. I'm going to just, or vacuum seal, not shrink wrap, but like put some blanket, like my blanket that I want to take, but I'm not going to need it in California. I'm just going to put everything into a suitcase and hopefully not open it until I get to Florida. Um, but I don't know how it's going to work. I haven't started packing it, obviously, because I still have 59 days till I leave. So as soon as exams are over in, well, my exams are over next Tuesday. So, and it's, what day is it today? Wednesday. So in about a week from now, I'll be done exams. I'm going to put all my binders away. going to take the stuff I need. I'm going to throw that in my suitcase and just start, just go at it because then I'm just going to be working I'm not going to be doing a ton of other stuff so yeah I, what was this question again what is it first thing you want to do when you get there yes I want to go to Target or Walmart because I'm going to need some blankets I am going to bring a blanket like I said and a pillow so it can get me through the first night but I'm going to need to go get sheets and I'm going to need to go get like a comforter and I'm going to need to go get just like other things I'm going to need there I already have a list I have a little notebook downstairs that I have all the apartment information on for like the different apartments and the different complexes and like the pros and cons so when I do get to pick which one I want um well my preference I can kind of say okay well this is my top one this is my next like just go down like that um and I do have different things about you know the buses and I have you know stuff I need to get when I'm down there stuff I want to get before I leave like just a bunch of different stuff in a notebook um which I might share with you guys before I go kind of my Disney notebook or I might show it after I don't know who knows but if you want to see that let me know it has a bunch of tips and stuff for interviews all that good stuff in there but Yes, Target or Walmart to get stuff that I'm going to need. And I'm hoping someone will take me because I don't want to have to take the bus because that's going to be not very fun. The next question, which is the second to last question, is what is the number one thing on your bucket list? I want to do four parks in one day. I think that would be super, super fun. 
Um, actually, no, I want to do six parks in one day. I want to go to Universal, both Universal parks. I'm going to get a Universal, par um, not park upper, Universal annual pass when I'm there. So I want to go to both Universal parks in the morning and then head over to Disney at night and go to all the Disney parks throughout the day. I want to get one thing to eat, take one picture, and go on one ride in every single park. Um, all six. I think that would be super, super fun. I'm going to definitely start off with the four, just the four Disney ones, and then see if I can do the Universal ones. But definitely I'm going to need someone with a car to do that because... If I don't have a car, it's going to be difficult to get to Universal and to all the Disney parks in a very short amount of time. And the last question is, what is one thing you hope to take away from the program? And that is just life experience, honestly. I want to live on my own. I want to see what it's like to live with roommates. I want to see what it's like to have to cook and clean and do everything on my own. And I know it's going to be difficult and I know it's going to kind of suck sometimes to have to get up and, you know, run errands before I go to work and then come home late and have to do homework because I have to take one online class and one in class course while I'm there. Um, I know it's going to suck to do some of that stuff and I know it's not going to be the most enjoyable all the time, but I'm definitely just looking forward to it. I don't know, I feel like it's just going to be a really, really good time and I feel like it's going to be just, I feel like it's just going to be good. I'm very, very excited if you couldn't tell. But that's all the questions. My laptop is now shut. My face got lighter, darker, because, well, I don't know. Now I have a shadow. When I, this was open, I didn't have a shadow. Oh, I did have a shadow. I've had a shadow this whole time. That's okay. Anyways, that is all for this video. If you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down below any video suggestions you may have. You can always use them. And if you want to hear anything about the DCP, anything more, give me recommendations. Not recommendations. What's the word? Suggestions. That's what I was looking for. Why did that take me so long to figure out? If you have any suggestions of what videos you want to see about the Disney College program, I'm definitely going to be vlogging and doing all the good stuff when I'm down there as well. But if you want to see anything beforehand, let me know. I'm trying to pre-film a ton of videos before I go, so I have everything kind of lined up for the first little bit. I'm also going to VidCon, so I'm also going to have videos to do with VidCon. Um, which I'm very excited about. Stay tuned for the other video and it's going to explain a bit more about that. But yes, that's all I really have to say. Thanks for watching. Like I said, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already. Stay tuned for lots of Disney videos. Like I said, 59 days and I'm leaving the country of Canada. Like, let's go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.